How's it going, YouTube? So today I just want to make a little video about my experience with flying lithium-ion cells on drones, of course. So, as you might see, I have a lot of 18650s. Um, got e-bikes, got electric motorcycles, electric cars, everything basically runs off an 18650 or the bigger 21700s. So my experience with them has been pretty good. Um, it takes a lot to figure out what works best, let's say. There's some good pre-built packs out there like these Flywoos, um, but just as easily as it costs to buy one of these, you could probably make two or three of them yourself. Um, so I've flown them all. And overall, if you want long flight times, lithium ion is the way to go. 4S packs with the, uh, well, his original Dave C drone that I built um, when it was still on Thingiverse. You cut your own frame. Uh, without the GoPro, this is just stock. You could easily get 30 minute flight times on a Samsung 30Q pack. Now these 30Q cells are a little more expensive. Everybody wants them. Same thing happened with the, uh, Sony VT6s in the beginning. So this is a Sony VT6 pack. Basically, the cells kind of, you know, end up becoming more and more expensive. So even these 30Qs are now like probably $7 a piece. And before I was buying them for about $3.50, which is why I have so many of them. Um, so definitely it's a little more difficult to build packs on the cheap, but that's where other brands come in, such as these Mala cells. These are almost 3,000 milliamp hours, uh, 35 amp or 30 amp compared to the Samsung. These are 35 amp or 30 amp and, um, and they're 3,000 milliamp hours. So they're pretty good. Same as the VT6, um, high amperage helps a lot with the drones because a little less sag, if you use really low amp cells that are maybe five, 10 amps, your, your drone won't fly. It's not going to have the amperage behind it to stay in the air long enough. So that's where picking cells is important. Um, now we got new cells, 21700s. These are about 4,000 milliamp hours here. The 35 amps, more amps out of these. You can get some up to 5,000 milliamp hours, but the amps are only going to be about 5 amps. So you can't make them to fly drones, but that's a, a future project. Uh, maybe I make a build video about how I build these. I use a spot welder now. Um, but I've basically flown 2S, 4S packs, 6S packs right here, 6S, 2P packs right here, double the size. And basically each time you go, more and more cells, longer and longer flight time. But at some point it's going to become pointless, depending on what your setup is. Um, let's say for a little 2S pack here. I have flown this for about 32 minutes on a drone that wasn't even meant to do long range. It was my little two inch park flyer. You know, it's just, just basically it's my little ripper, you know, my little two inch ripper. But the funny thing is that with lithium ion, you're able to fly 30 minutes, no problem. And that's even with props that are not very efficient. Um, so that's pretty fun. So I've done 2S, it's pretty fun to experiment. I've done the 4S packs here, and uh, again, you know, flying it with the Dave C frame here, you need to get 30 minutes, no problem. On the VT6, I think the cutoff is about maybe 2.8 volts or something, so you won't be able to fly the, the VT6 cells as long as you'll be able to fly the 30Qs, these ones. The 30Q cutoff is about 2.2 volts, so if you really want to go extra long you can take these puppies all the way down to 2.2 volts per cell and you'll fly a pretty long time um another thing when it comes to 6s even these packs this is just a 6s 1p you're able to get 30 minutes no problem on a 7 inch you know something like this like this is a long range quad that we built here and 
basically some tips from Falcon Red. He's pretty good at long range. You know, even with the 6S1P pack, I mean, I would say 18 minutes or so on this one. But as soon as you end up going with the 6S2P on this one, it's heavier. You're just on the border of long, longer flight times with this pack. Um, if you go any bigger than this, probably 6S3P, let's say, your flight times are just, you won't have the, the power to carry this pack for a long time. But even this one, easy, 30 plus minutes, no problem. Comparing the flight times, the moment you go bigger props, a little lower KV motor, you're able to stay in the air pretty long because of your ability to carry these packs is pretty heavy, you know? With this one, with the 3,000 milliamp hour cells, you're looking at about 6,000 milliamp hours of, of power. You know, it's a long time. So on a seven inch, I would say the sweet spot is definitely these 6S2P packs. Um, these are pretty good. If you're gonna go bigger, 10 inch drone, let's say, or some long range 10 inch, you could definitely do a 3P pack, no problem. Um, this will carry it no problem. You know, it's got massive props. You know, the KV is pretty low, so the sag on the 18650s is appreciable compared to, let's say, like, something inefficient like a Cinewhoop. If you try and fly a 4S pack on a Cinewhoop, they don't, uh, they're not as efficient. So it's they just sag the cells too fast. But if you wanted to go crazy, you could definitely do a 6S3P pack on a 10-inch, and you'd, could fly forever so that's pretty fun it's um fun to experiment with these cells um you know it just comes down to picking you know what kind of well first what price you're willing to pay for cells i wouldn't pay over four dollars a cell for a lot of things um hopefully the prices go back down and you can pick more uh, high quality cells like the uh, 30 q's these are really good um, even these Mala cells right here, the P2Es, these are the old, or P26A, I think, P26A. These are the older version. Then I have a V2 um, with, uh, I think, 35 amp with the same capacity, so that's pretty good. Um, and then the next thing that I'm going to try here is these 21700s. So these are Lan Shen's, the 4,000 milliamp hour, 35 amp. So it'll be interesting to build a 4S pack and um, probably build a five inch ultralight long range drone because the five inch prop is a little better at carrying heavier packs. Even the Dave C frame, it suffers a little bit. Um, definitely, I mean, for the Dave C frame, if you're wanting just to fly a long time, it's really efficient already. It's very efficient, even with lipos, just regular lipos, 950s, 1500s. Um, I run the tri-blades purely because they feel better with the heavier pack. Um, so it's definitely worth it. It's fun. If you're willing to get into long flight time flying, let's say, long range can be anything, you know, but for the most part, we say long range as in long flight time. Um, you know, if you're willing to repurpose cells, sometimes you might find good ones. It's definitely the best to invest in quality equipment. Here I'm grading cells. You know, I'm trying to figure out what the internal resistance is on cells, you know, so I can pair them up. But most of all, it's um, figuring out what the capacity is. If the capacity is too low on a cell, you're not going to want to use it. And it's also good to grade the cells that you buy to make sure that they're not lying on their capacity or their amperage. Um, that's important because if you put crappy cells together, you're just gonna get a crappy battery. There's always the risk of the battery just malfunctioning and you losing your quad. So it's important to invest in quality cells in the beginning. Otherwise, you know, you're just gonna fly crap, you know, and it's never gonna work the way you want it to work. Um, so definitely it's it's fun to fly long range. It's definitely fun to just fly there for 20 plus minutes. Might get exhausting, but uh, it's pretty enjoyable to not have to only fly four minutes at a time. Um, and as well, you know, maybe I'll make a video on building packs. Um, there's a little bit of prep with it. 
it's easier to buy a spot welder rather than soldering 18650s. It's a pain in the butt to try and solder these. Spot welding is much cleaner, but at the same time, you it's harder to take them apart. Uh, you know, here I'm dealing with over 200 cells from another battery, but once they're spot welded on, it's pretty hard to get them off from the ground side because the surface area is so much better and the stick is much better spot welding on the ground than it is on the positive end. So they don't come out as clean if you're wanting to repurpose it. But again, you know, I'm in the, I'm using these cells to rebuild a bike battery, you know, here's a tray, you know, basically you're lying all the cells in there. So, you know, basically my, this is my little outlook on what I've done for long range flying cell choices and my overall experience. It's been a pleasure to do this. So hopefully it brings some enlightenment to you viewers who are wanting to build your own packs and trying to see what's the best sell out there. Um, you know, if you're not willing to want to build your own, that's never a problem. You can always buy them straight off the bat, you know, from Flywoo or Zod. You know, they're selling a lot of packs. I know Zod is starting to make 4S21700 packs. Um, but again, those are for planes. So the amperage is lower already. Um, they don't need as much amps you know, to be drawn like as a quad, like a quad. So um, they're a little bit different. And again, if you're going to be buying packs, you should definitely see what kind of battery is going to be in it and try and look at spec sheets because that's important to know what the performance of the cell is going to be. You know, these are pretty much all three of these here. The Samsung 30Q, the Molosel P26, uh, a and the lens shens, they're all pretty similar in amps and performance, but then it comes at the difference of capacity and how long you're willing to fly. So yeah, it's almost a cell and a half here of weight. So again, you need a bigger quad to fly these, you know, the little Dave C micro long range, four inch, isn't gonna cut it with 21700s. From a four inch prop, there's just not enough lift to carry these efficiently. You know, you won't get nearly enough time from four of these as four of these. So uh, that's something to look forward to. You know, everything is pretty, has to be custom tailored to what your specific flying is going to be. Um, you know, if you're gonna fly seven inch, six S only way, you know, but you can either go with just a one P pack, 3000 milliamp hours, and you're only gonna spend you know, maybe $20 in cells, you know? And if you're gonna go buy a 6S 5,000 milliamp hour pack, they're close to $80. Um, so that's important to look at. But again, it's the performance of a LiPo versus performance of lithium ion. It can change, you know? Especially if you're just gonna wanna, you know, rip around, you might as well get the 5S, or the 5,000 milliamp hour 6S LiPo because you're gonna get the performance out of it that you won't get out of a lithium ion. You know, you're not gonna go do a bando with a lithium ion pack. There's not enough power behind it, you know, to compensate for that sag when you're full throttle. And, you know, it's a completely different flying style on lithium ion versus lipo with that high discharge versus this not as high discharge, you know? Um, you know, it's comparable. You can get enough amps to stay in the air if you gotta punch it. But, you know, you're not going to punch it all the time. So, that's the cool part about lithium ions. You know, it's fun to fly. There's a lot you can do with them. And, uh, you know, if you just want to go out there and be cruising around over and over and over for more than four minutes, it's something fun to do. Um, building's definitely fun, so I might do a build video here of how I make a 21700 4S pack. And, um, you know, we'll try it out on the Dave C frame. And we'll see if we build a five inch ultralight long range frame. Should carry these way better, but easily I think we could get probably 30 minutes, no problem of flight time. So um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's it for the video today. You know, hit me up with any questions that you might have. Uh, you know, you want to get into building packs, there's plenty of info out there. Uh, you know, but again, be smart, don't do anything stupid. 
you know, fly responsibly, build responsibly, and uh, always make sure your things are going to work beforehand, and that's the most important thing. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Uh, hope you guys learned something. And then, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and then uh, see you in the next one.